Minnesota is the top turkey producing state in the nation. Last year, the USDA said our state raised more than 37 million birds. More than 26,000 people work in the turkey industry in our state, an industry that generates almost a billion dollars in economic activity every year. And the industry just received a big win with the Indian government lowering the tariff on frozen turkey products. This gives Minnesota turkey growers better access to more than a billion new customers. Gordon Severson explains the impact it could have on hundreds of growers. When you normally think of turkey, you might think of turkey sandwiches or Thanksgiving. Not a barn filled with thousands of live birds. These are 15 week old male turkeys or toms and they will go to market in approximately another month. John Zimmerman is a second generation turkey grower in Northfield one of 600 turkey growers in Minnesota who will soon have access to a new market in India. We haven't had true and fair access to the Indian market in over 20 years. Since 1996, the National Turkey Federation says the Indian government has enforced a 30% tariff on imported frozen turkey. Effectively price you out of the market. But last week, after negotiations with the United States, the Indian government has decided to lower that tariff. It's down to 5%. Senator Amy Klobuchar says the negotiating team was looking at several foods to get on this list of lowered tariffs. And she fought hard to get turkey included so Minnesota growers could grow their business. So this is a big breakthrough for Minnesota given the importance of turkey production um, to our economy. The Minnesota Turkey Growers Association says it's hard to predict the impact this will have on Minnesota growers, but opening up a new market with 1.4 billion people could be a game changer in the industry. India is a very large and growing market with a burgeoning middle class, so we're pretty excited to have better access to that market now. Zimmerman says the growth won't happen overnight. Most of the turkey that is grown actually stays here in the United States. Roughly 10% of the United States turkeys are exported, primarily to Mexico. And introducing a new protein into a new country isn't easy. So I'm sure they're aware of turkey and a certain level of their population has had it, but to get it widespread will take a, take a fair amount of time. There has to be a marketing campaign and people have to, you know, the Indian people have to um, try turkey and hopefully enjoy it. Zimmerman says a lot of countries also don't have the infrastructure and cold storage that's needed to bring in millions of pounds of product. It could take a while to build that up and even cooking the turkey will be a problem. A lot of foreign countries don't have an oven like we do in the United States so how can they cook a whole bird? Well they can't so providing products such as ground turkey and um, turkey breast meat and turkey cuts, turkey tenderloins and other more ready to cook products. Despite these hurdles, Zimmerman says he's still excited about this new opportunity. It may take a few years, but he has high hopes for his farm and hundreds of other farms across the state. And it's not just turkey, it's also frozen duck products, blueberries and cranberries that will be affected by these lower tariffs in India. Wisconsin is actually the number one producer of cranberries, so they will see a big boost from this as well. Turkey growers also have high hopes for India because a lot of people there have religious and cultural dietary restrictions that limit what types of meat they can eat. So for many people, turkey would be an acceptable option for them. So we could see a lot more turkey going to India in the coming years.